electric vehicles are evolving and gaining popularity at an accelerated pace. Now, much progress has been made in terms of hardware and infrastructure with electric vehicles. For instance, BMW is working on an iX with an expected range of 600 miles, but recharging still takes significantly more time than refueling an internal combustion engine or a hydrogen powered vehicle. And there are many internal combustion engine vehicles on the road that can match or even beat 600 miles on a tank of fuel. Well, all of this is about to change. An Israeli tech company by the name of Electrion has been developing and implementing an innovative solution for this problem. Electrion took a page from the aviation handbook. They watched a whole bunch of movies with jet fighters and then connected the dots. What if cars could refuel while they were driving, similar to fighter jets that can refuel mid-flight? By the way, this is what I believe inspired them. I've got absolutely no proof. In my head, they came up with this idea of wireless charging roads by watching a bunch of movies with fighter jets and like stuff. Yeah. Anyways, so Electrion envisioned a network of strategic corridors with wireless in-road charging that could gradually power vehicles along a route, rather than all at once at a destination. Like the technology used by our smart devices, this system needs vehicle mounted receivers to work. According to the company, this is something that has not been implemented yet as a factory feature by any renowned car maker, but can easily and cost effectively add on to existing and future EV models. Now this charging service will cost money, as we all know nothing is free. Fleet operators could either pay a subscription to use the chargers or integrate the cost into highway tolling, depending on the situation. This would eliminate the need for stopping and wasting 30 minutes plus charging your car. This also opens a door in a huge market, commercial vehicles, trucks, buses, etc. Imagine if all the trucks driving on the freeway were electric and better yet didn't have to stop to charge. The only limitation would be the drivers. The trucks would be able to drive for hours without needing to stop. Plus, electric would be great for commercial vehicles, as EVs has tons of torque, and all of that torque is instant. So the first country to install this tech is Sweden. And together with Electrion, they have recently tested the feasibility of this technology on a 1.6 km public road in Gotland, Sweden. After performing several tests to make sure that the system is stable, a fully electric long haul truck was the first vehicle to be charged wirelessly by this Swedish mod road. The truck drove on a 200 meter segment of the road at various speeds under 60 km per hour. Now at these speeds, the roads averaged a transfer rate of 70 kW while also proving that snow and ice do not affect the charging capabilities. Now after these successful tests, the company expects to start operation of the entire road once all the approvals from relevant authorities are granted. Now hopefully the relevant authorities that side is a lot faster than government this side. But once they have permission, they will start building more roads with this tech, as well as start testing with more vehicles at higher speeds. The world is progressing at such a fast rate. People think of everything. I see in 10 years from now, everybody will drive these cars charging on the road and cars with small hydrogen powered motors while I still drive my old big motor that's way slower than all of these new cars but at least it will sound cool. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you did like this video, I'm pretty sure there's more stuff on my channel that you will like so just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like and I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?